We're here on the homestead and we're hungry. The problem is we've got nothing to eat with. The cabin is empty, no bowls, no spoons. So we've got to make some utensils. So Brandon's gonna be turning a bowl on the pole lathe and I'll be carving a spoon. So we'll be using all kinds of different tools today, but the main part for this uh, spoon carving is our spoon carving kit made by Beavercraft. It's got a hook knife. That's essential for making the bowl of the spoon. And then it's got two different, very, very sharp knives for doing the rest of the carving, the fine work on the handles. To do it right, really your tools have to be razor sharp. The kit includes a little leather strop and a little bit of honing compound so that you can keep those tools very, very sharp. So before we put this on the lathe, we've got to chop it into a rough bowl shape. So we got to get all these corners off. The more we take off before we put it on the lathe, the easier it'll turn. first step on making our spoon here is finding the right piece of wood and I want to make a, a fairly large cooking spoon and so I'm looking for a tree that uh, a section of tree that doesn't have too many um, knots in it and if I can for the spoon that I want to make uh, I'd like to, to have a little bit of a swoop at the end so I actually chose this particular hunk of tree that has a little bit of a curve in it maybe I can get this, this to be the bowl part down here and this the handle uh, we, we won't really know whether this is the perfect piece of wood though until we split it in half to see where the knots go and if we've got the right kind of grain. Here we are, that might work. We'll, we'll try this one out. Uh, this is tulip. Tulip is the softest of the hardwoods. We're working with green timber here, uh, so it's going to be pretty easy to cut. You'll have to worry about it drying out and cracking when we're done, but it's the easiest to cut when it's green like this. So I'll start working at this a little bit, see if we can get down to a flatter uh, shape, see if this knot is gonna cause me any problem. I think I can, I can split around it, and uh, then we can kind of mark our spoon shape and really start to get carving. So I'm happy with how much material I have taken off. So I'm ready to mount it on the lathe. To do that, we need to bore a hole the same size as this. This is a mandrel, so it'll go inside that hole and allow me to turn it with the rope. So this, uh, this little section of wood was just old enough to have that darker green heartwood show up. I think I'll go ahead and have that um, kind of show up in the spoon. I think that'll, that'll be kind of fun at the very top edge of the handle. Um, you know, this is still got, it's got a little bit of a swoop in it. I'm going to keep working at it with the axe to remove the maximum quantity of material before I get down with the finer tools to really start to shape it up. It's a lot quicker to use an axe to get this excess material out of the way. Here's our roughed out spoon and here's our handle section. Now I could start working on that right away, uh, but I don't wanna waste my time making the handle nice because if I don't get this bowl right, well then the rest of the spoon isn't gonna matter. So I'm gonna start working on the bowl of the spoon and when I've got that looking nice, then I'll start to make the spoon around that.
Okay, so we've got the the block rounded out to a round. Now we're starting to shape it. We've got to come in here to make the bottom of the bowl right here instead of the very end, because the very end will have a hole in it from the pipe. So we'll get this rounded in and get our outside of the bowl, then we'll start working on the inside. There we go, utensils for our cabin and ready to use. You would have found utensils just like this in thousands and thousands of cabins all around the country made from the wilderness that surrounds us. Wow, if you would like to see more videos like this one where we make utensils or use them in cooking episodes, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't miss our live streams every Friday at 4 p.m. We have a great time and the Nutmeg Tavern.